Let me introduce you to Quick Lift, a portable lifting system which makes vehicle maintenance on and off the truck much more convenient. It's ideally suited for garages with low headroom. It can go anywhere and can be easily transported in the back of a car or a van. In minutes, you can do your repairs, your general maintenance or tire changes. We have two versions of this lift, two and a half ton and three and a half ton. Also, they come as AC or DC powered, 220 volts or 12 volts. So you can use your car battery or a portable transformer. Behind me, we have a two and a half ton version of this lift. Let me show you what you can expect in the package and also all the optional extras that you can purchase. So when you order your quick lift, this is what you can expect in your package. Those are the two main components. Those are your scissor lifts, the ones that actually lift your vehicle. They also come with four rubber feet, so you don't damage the under seals of your vehicle. It's metal welded frame, powder coated, and it also has nylon wheels to make it easy to transport and maneuver on flat surfaces. It comes with instruction manual, two hydraulic hoses that have quick release couplings. We also have a hydraulic pump with four liters capacity and pendant remote control. As I mentioned before, this version is 220 volt, so it can run on normal household plug. We also have a range of optional accessories you can purchase. So before I show you how this lift can operate and also how to bleed the system and things to do before you actually start working on your car, let me run you through the list of optional extras you can purchase. So if your vehicle's wheelbase exceeds 3200 mil, which is 3.2 meters, you can purchase extension plates. Here they are, again, welded steel frame, powder coated, and it has rubber feet mounted on them. So you can directly fit it onto your quick lift, which extends the reach of your platform. Also, we have two different height adapters. We have a fixed height adapter, which is 142 mil. And also we have a three piece height adjustable feet. It goes from 140 mil and it can extend up to 210 mil. Also, you can purchase oil that we recommend, which is ISO 32. It's five liters. It's more than enough for one pump because it takes four liters. Another optional extra is those rubber platforms. Basically, if your vehicle is lowered and you're having problems fitting our quick lift under your car, you can put those under your wheels to raise the vehicle ever so slightly, so it's a lot easier for you to position our quick lift under the car. So all of our optional accessories can be bought directly from our website. The link is in the description.
Now let me show you how to set up your quick lift, how to bleed the system, also run you through some safety features that we have. Before we can lift a vehicle, let me show you how to assemble the pump. There is a certain procedure you need to follow in order for you to safely operate our quick lift. First of all, you need to fill the tank with oil. As I mentioned before, it takes four liters, and this one has already been full, filled up. Now we need to attach our hoses. Using 19 mil wrench, you torque it up. Now, now we are ready to bleed the system. In order to do that, we need to turn our lifts upside down. Now we connect them to our hydraulic hoses. And we're ready to plug in the pump. Now you need to raise it up and lower it down about three to four times. Lowering the lift in this position may take a little bit of time because there is no weight of the car on top of them. But you can actually hear air bubbles evacuating into the pump. Now that the system is completely bled, we are ready to raise a vehicle. Now we put rubber feet and we simply slide the lifts underneath. Make sure to locate your lifting points on your car. And we're pretty much ready to lift.
Another really great safety feature is the ability to actually disconnect your hydraulic hoses. So if you're working on a car for an extended period of time, you can just leave it sitting on the lifts without the pump being attached so you don't trip over the wires or the cables. It's very securely fixed by a lock stop. The car is not going anywhere. And again, in order to lower the car, all you need to do is reconnect your hydraulic hoses. A little bit of oil will come out. But nothing major. Make sure the the hose is away from from the tires. And now we are ready to lower the vehicle. So what you need to do in order to lower the vehicle safely, we raise it up so the, the stopping bar is off the thing and then we close the, the locking mechanism and you have to do it on both sides. And now you can lower your vehicle. The lift has two positions. The high position and the low position. Let me show you the low position. This is the low position. Basically, it's enough for you to change the wheels. And you can use either one of those. Again, in order to lower it, you raise it. You undo your locking, stopping thing on both sides. And now you can safely lower your vehicle completely. And it's as easy as that. Um, it takes about 35 seconds to completely raise the car. Um, roughly the same amount of time to lower it. Extremely secure, as I've shown you. The car is well, well balanced on the lift, so you can work under it knowing that your safety is the priority. So now that you know a bit more about Quick Lift, I think it's time for you to follow the link in the description and order yours now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, click that like button. It will definitely help us. And don't forget to share it with your friends who you think might benefit with a Quick Lift. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.